Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner, the fallout from friendship, well, I can't call it friendship gate, the fallout from friendship fest 2023 is upon us. Y'all, we did some digging and the streets are talking. But guess what? We got a little insight into that. We also got Chloe, as usual, being low-key annoyed and mad. But you know, Chloe, she got to act like she is the savior of all humanity, Mother Teresa, Jesus Christ, and whatever else you want rolled into one. Y'all, baby, if Chloe said she can't forgive Black China for suing her... (laughs) How's she going to forgive the girl that, you ruined my family, Jordan? Yo, Chloe was so corny for that. Especially then, don't forget, up to that time, we knew Tristan had some wayward ways, but we didn't know Tristan had that dog in him. We didn't know Tristan was certifiably mental insane. We didn't know he was slinging that thing all up and down. But guess what? Kim Loki shaded the reconciliation and said it was fake and y'all we think we know why okay listen come walk with me walk wait what is it um f with me hard i do you well but this okay listen shut up i was trying to spit some lyrics but y'all know i can't okay so listen here's what the streets are saying that that jordan uh, you know i don't want to call jordan a fool because jordan has done very well for her life she is beautiful she is smart we like jordan on this channel here's what the streets are saying right The reason why this whole friendship reconciliation happened on Kylie's side, well, the Kardashians are struggling in ratings. The Kardashians need to bring the action. And now that Courtney said, baby, I am not going to be a part, a piece, a crumb, nothing in this little miracle round. I got my baby. I got my man. Y'all not going to be stressing me out. Count me out. The Kardashians season three need to film. Um, Listen. Kim can't carry it because her life is boring or at least what she shows us because Kim just shows us like this little fake thing of perfection and I get it I get it but baby it was a lot more believable (laughs) until you dated Pete Davidson that's one thing Kanye was about right you we really like double guessed Kim and everything she was worth for her messing with that little crunchy sock mofo anyway okay Kim's storyline boring Chloe how many times can you talk about how much you're not bonded with your son, right? How many times can you sit there and be like, what else is Chloe up to? Oh, by the way, my uh, Kardashian recap season three, episode eight is up. Make sure you get it. It's a continuation of episode seven. Episode seven, listen, that's a good recap. If you like long form podcasts, you got to clean the house, ignore your boss. You know what? It's a good thing. Anyway, let's get back into this. What's Chloe's storyline? Chloe's storyline is that being a savior and then talking trash about Black China. Now, we all know that didn't work. I know Chloe still is mad at Black China because that is the woman her brother literally chose to fall in love with. And Chloe's the only one that can't get over it, right? And honestly, what didn't y'all do to Black China? What's her name? Kylie stole her man. Well, not still. Tyga wasn't ish. But Kylie was creeping with her man, with trash Tyga. Low-key, she probably did China a favor. She did do China a favor, right? China got fired from her job, Rob harassed her, released revenge pee, did all this stuff. And Chloe got the nerve to be like, you know, when somebody sues me for $100 million, Chloe, shut up. Anyway, back to Jordan. Kylie needs a storyline. Kendall and Kylie's storylines have been called boring, redundant, nonsensical. Kylie needs to step up to the plate. Kris Jenner already tried to make her do a fake uh, PR relationship with Timothy Chalamet. That is going nowhere. Kylie is not going to talk about Travis Scott because, in my opinion, low-key, she wants him back. Again, this is all my opinion, y'all. Take it for what it's worth. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments, but please be uh, respectful. Okay. So, what better storyline? What better made for TV? What better, yes, we will be tuned in for season, what is it? Season four of the Kardashians. If we see Jordan and Kylie work out, or not even work, discuss what actually happened, how they felt, ada, ada, ada. This will be ratings gold for the Kardashians. So, what did Jordan get out of it? Seriously. Streets are saying the reason why Jordan wanted to reconcile or consider reconciling with Kylie is because 
she is not invited to the same stuff that Kylie is. And now that Kendall, Kim, and all of them are hanging hard again with Black Hollywood, Justin Sky, Lori Harvey, da, 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 da. isn't it funny whenever the Kardashians literally run out of any type of fuel or creativity or when they start to slip, they run back to the Black It Girls? They do. They run back to the Black It Girls to glom on them, take everything they have, and then go take it to mainstream America. Say what you want. That's how the Kardashians got famous. They literally, Kanye and Tyga put them down, which, which all the Black It Girls were wearing in Hollywood, but more importantly, in the hood. And they took it, co-opted it, and bought it to America. Th that's what they did, mainstream America. The nails, the hair, the style, the vibes, the body. That's what they did. Okay, so people said that Jordan really wanted to um, link up with Kylie. I don't know if she really wanted to. That might be the wrong words. But link up with Kylie because she needed to make peace with the Kardashians so her calendar could be going better. People are also saying that Kris Jenner offered Jordan a deal she couldn't refuse. Let's not forget on that date night <laughs> that friendship fest i think jordan was wearing um the second collection of woods by jordan she looked really cute right also i think chris jenner offered to help her for business or stuff like that again this is what the streets are talking but you know jordan just didn't do that um for free at least i hope not now here's the thing with the kardashians where i'm like jordan i don't care what chris jenner offered you why would you take it because baby we need to think about this for a number of reasons why would you take it the kardashians never give more than they get and they demand a hundred and ten percent and you only get twenty percent back second of all jordan you were doing so well without them third of all chloe has not forgotten what you did she has not forgotten the way you embarrassed her kim has not forgotten that even though her larsa and chloe or some grown men, women bullying you. Literally. They have not forgotten that you made them look stupid. They still want that look at licking. Kylie has not changed. Even less so. Right? She didn't protect you. She didn't roll out for you. She chose her family. I can't blame her over that. But Jordan, as close as y'all was, she let you know you are not family. And you're never going to come in between her and her family. Chris Jenner has not forget the way Will and Jada threw up that spear of protection and pushed back. And they couldn't get their claws into you. Y'all, I'm just saying. I don't believe that people. I know people are like, oh my God, it's the past. Move over and forgive. Yeah, but you don't forget. And when the people... That you have moved on for were the ones that wronged you and they're mad that they couldn't get their claws into you? Man. Anyway, speaking of Chloe, Chloe literally, let's get into this. Chloe literally had all this mess to say. Woo! -hoo. Listen, I will say one thing about Chloe. She is low key acting, right? low key acting like she is savior of the world but she is mad you cannot tell me it is so funny oh by the way kim tweeted this she said oh lol this is too real he she said if she forgives you then an hour later comes back mad again she told her friends in the group chat and the board of directors did not agree with her decision this is kim in my opinion being low-key shady to jordan saying i don't care what Chloe, what Kylie said to you, Kylie don't run ish. She came back and told us, and we said no, and that's why y'all not cool again. Again, they think they can run Kylie and Kendall. People talking about some, um, people talking about some, oh my God, like, you know, it's time to forgive and move on, baby. There's some things you can move on for. They try to destroy her. They try to humiliate her. They have people online bowling her, telling her to delete herself like her dad um, when he passed away. Y'all, ain't no coming back from that. But you know what? Let's get into this. Here's Chloe. Never blame anyone in your life. Chloe, shut up. All you do is blame everyone. Now you move from blaming people to blaming the internet for being haters on your happiness. She said the good people give you happiness. The bad people give you experience. The worst people give you a lesson. And the best people give you memories. Um, does that mean that Tristan is the good, the bad, the worst? 
and the best. <laughs> anyway, she went on to say, it's easy to judge. It's more difficult to understand. Understanding requires compassion, patience, and a willingness to believe that good hearts sometimes choose poor methods. Through judging, we separate. Through understanding, we grow. You know what? The funny thing is, if you listen to Chloe's memes, you would think she is the most balanced, neutral, understanding, patient, kind, forgiving person in the world. But then you realize it's petty, vindictive Chloe basically trying to cosplay a good person. I will say one thing. People that are good people never have to tell you they're a good person. They never have to tell you their sacrifices. That is just evident. Chloe then went on to say, it takes grace to remain kind in cruel situations. Chloe, you were the cruel situation. Are, are these memes toward Jordan? God says... I'm here for you. I'll make a way for you. I will wipe your tears away and I will give you the victory. Rise up. I love you. The funny thing is God does say that and Jesus' kingdom promises that. Unfortunately, well, you don't understand that when he said rise up, he meant get off your knees and stop being a doormat slash footstool to the father of your two children. Y'all, listen. Listen. Chloe, in my opinion, is seething quietly. I guess Chloe is seething quietly while she pretends outwardly that she's a saint on earth. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you for deciding to let your little sister be friends with one of the hundreds of women that Tristan tried to publicly disrespect you with. Y'all listen. Let me know what y'all.